totally should have wore this when we went and saw The Lion King last weekend. I would have been so in character. Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another crochet review. Now fam, if you're like me, you're always looking for crochet hair that doesn't frizz, doesn't mat, and doesn't tangle. This is your hair. I got you sis. This is your hair. So I wanted to talk about this necklace. Isn't this necklace cute that I'm wearing? So this necklace is actually, it has a story behind it. So, so this is a coin that they would use to actually buy and sell slaves back during slavery, you guys. And I just thought that was so creative for uh, them to come up with a positive way to use these coins and just turn something positive out of something so negative, you know? And it comes with these cute little earrings to match and I just thought that was so cute. Um, my girlfriend has an online jewelry boutique and that's where I purchased these from. So it's called Uniquely Black and I'm gonna leave the link below to her site. If you're interested, definitely check her out. Now, let's get into this hair. So this is the Model Model Brazilian Curl in 12 inches. This is what the package looks like. I got it in the color, uh, what is it, TT, TT30 is the color. Now, I have reviewed this hair before, but it was in the 20 inch version of the Brazilian Curl. So Model Model sells this hair in both a 12 inch and a 20 inch version. And when I wore the 20 inch, I did that, that was the video I did where I went swimming and I wore it on vacation. I'm gonna link that video below so you can check that one out too. So this review is gonna cover the five things that I look for when I review a crochet hair. So the hair has to be easy to install, low maintenance, low frizz, I need to be able to get multiple styling options, and I need to be able to sleep in the hair comfortably, okay? And so that's what I'm gonna rank this hair on today. So let's talk about installation. The hair does come in bulk form, but the strands are pre-separated for you, so that's also gonna reduce your, your installation time because you don't have to worry about separating the hair. And um, this is what one of the strands looks like here, and I love that they separated the strands um, small enough to where you can install them without the knot slipping. I bought this hair uh, two years ago when I was rocking my shave size, and I only got three packs because that's all I needed to uh, for complete installation when I had my mohawk. And I know I'm gonna need more than that for a complete full crochet installation. And so I thought, wait a minute, I have one more pack left of the 20 inch hair and slightly different color, but maybe I can mix the two, and that's exactly what I did. So what I did to achieve this style, I used a 20 inch in the back because I knew I wanted to have uh, the TT30 in the front. That's why you see it a little bit darker right back here, um, because that is the 20 inch version of this hair. And I just cut it to where it blends in with the 12 inch hair. Now for my braiding pattern, I always use a straight back corn roll pattern. Um, I always use my Miko Method braiding pattern, which is the row of individual braids in the front connected to my corn rolls going straight back. The Miko Method braiding pattern, those in, that row of individuals in the front, will keep your crochet insulation right at your hairline and it'll keep your style looking fresher longer. If you tried my Miko Method braiding pattern, let me know. I came out with it a couple years ago. I absolutely love it. It's been a lifesaver. And in the back, I braid the ends of my cornrows together and I always sew it down with needle and thread because when it comes time to cut out my crochet braids, I don't wanna risk cutting my natural hair, so I always sew down my ends. And then I always create an anchor braid along the side um, all the way around the back and I can use the invisible knot method when I pull my hair into updos. Now the key to the invisible knot method is to insert the crochet needle towards your part. That way your knot will fall on the opposite side. Attach the hair to the hook. I keep my hair separated to make it easier to pull just one strand through. You're gonna close the latch and then pull the crochet needle back underneath your braid. You're gonna pull one strand through. I secure one in my mouth to keep it nice and secure and pull one strand through. You're gonna twist the loop two times to double knot the hair, pull that strand back through, and then cinch the hair down with both ends of the hair. That's gonna make your crochet braid even. Now, if you're new to crochet braids, I'm gonna show you that one more time so you can really get the gist of what I'm doing. twist the loop, pull that strand back through, and boom, that's it. And this is what it should look like when you're done. You can see it looks a lot more natural than having the knots exposed, and with a little bit of practice, you will master this in no time. 
here. I only had to knot this hair twice and the knots are very secure. So I used uh, three packs of the 12 inch and I only used half a pack of the, the uh, 20 inch. So four packs total you should be able to achieve this style. So it took me about two or three hours total to achieve this full look. And I love that this hair is super lightweight. It has so much body and so much balance. You can see there's no tangling. And because it's super lightweight, I've been able to get so many styling options with this hair. So if you like this hair, make sure you check out my styling video. I'm gonna link that below. And uh, I installed this hair maybe three or four days ago. And um, at night, I just pull the hair in a, uh, a pineapple and I sleep in a bonnet. And you can see how separated the hair is. There's no matting, there's no tangling. Model Model really did a great job with their hair. I don't know how they do this, but I am certainly gonna uh, look into some of their other curl patterns and um, see if they perform as well as this hair does. So I'm absolutely loving this hair, you guys. And um, if I can find it online anywhere, I'll definitely link that below for you um, so you can scoop this hair up. I actually got this hair from um, Sam's Beauty a couple years ago. Model Model hair is very hard to find. Most beauty supply stores don't carry it. Um, so if you can find it online, um, definitely go ahead and snatch it up and just, just go on a tour around your local area and check out all the beauty supply stores and see what brands they carry because different uh, beauty supplies carry different brands of hair. So I have three that, uh, actually I have four that are my main ones that I kind of rotate between depending on what hair I'm looking for. So guys, I think I've answered all the questions I would want to know if I was going to purchase this hair. So if you have any questions, leave them below. If you like this hair, make sure you check out my styling videos. You can see all the different styling options that I was able to come up with this hair. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you get out of here and make sure you like, comment, and share this video on your social media platforms. That's going to help me get my brand out there and bring you more awesome crochet reviews. Until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you stay fit and fabulous.